Good evening and welcome to this week's edition of Tech Now. Tonight, the CEO of GenBand talks about why Ottawa was such a key part of his snapping up Nortel's business at a bargain price and what the future holds. To say that Nortel Ottawa is a shadow of its former self is an understatement. There's just a handful of people who can still say they work for Nortel. This week, the CEO of GenBand, the Texas-based firm that bought up the last major business unit, was in Ottawa. I had a chance to talk to him about his plans for expansion in Ottawa and buying up other companies. Phones, lots of phones, and putting those phone networks onto an internet-based platform. That's what Nortel's communications voice networks business was all about. World-class technology, one of Nortel's top performing units, and not long ago, sales of a billion dollars. All that was snapped up for $182 million by GenBan. Ottawa was the cornerstone of Nortel. And so you look at the intellectual property uh, that is here, I think that Ottawa is going to be a very key location for us. Um, it, it's so much easier to build on that than to start brand new somewhere else. Vote says technology developed in the Ottawa labs is now the lead product in GenBand's revamped portfolio. Current customers include the world's top telecom firms. GenBand threw a summer picnic for its 400 Ottawa employees this week. The takeover closed just 30 days ago. Before that, months of preparation. And Vote says in the fall of 2008, he had asked Nortel's CEO if he'd sell the same unit. But it was clear the company was headed for bankruptcy. Nortel workers were let go in the eventual takeover. Those remaining are positive. I'd say the mood is very good. Uh, it's nice to be uh, seeing a bright future instead of... Uh know where we were heading. I think people are really excited and feel a lot of relief. Relief would be a good word. Yes, it would be. Uh, well done. Uh, the support has been great and all the issues that we have raised have been addressed so far, so it's all positive. A huge weight lifted off. Uh, I mean, uh, being under bankruptcy and everything was a big, big concern and now uh, under GenBan it seems just tremendous. Acquisitions have become a way of life for GenBan from 80 employees to 2,500 in just six years. Vote says they do takeovers well, and size doesn't scare them off. Nortel was four times the size of GenBan. So when we were a $25 million company, we bought a $100 million business. You know, there were analysts who doubted our ability to fully integrate and, and make a business that was, you know, losing a lot of money profitable. And in, and in less than six months, we had fully integrated that business and we took a business that was losing lots of money and made it profitable. GenBan becomes the fourth new tenant here at the former Nortel campus. And indeed, there are still some Nortel employees here. The company won't say how many there are and says they're providing services to the new tenants and working to sell off this campus. The Nortel campus is now more than half empty. Nortel has it up for sale, but they're not providing any details on inquiries. If vote is right and the upsized gen band has what customers want, there's certainly room for expansion. Vote says that the next big step will be within 18 months when he takes the company public. In the meantime, look for more takeovers. I think we're executing on our vision very well, and uh, I would say that we're not done, and I, and I think that there's further consolidation that has to occur in the space. And you want to be the consolidator? We absolutely want to be the consolidator.